Welcome to the second episode of the Physio series. As mentioned in the previous video, there are three types of back pain. The mechanical back pain, pathological and psychological. In this episode, you will learn about the pathological back pain. Pathological back pain refers to a chronic and severe pain in the back that is caused by an underlying medical condition or disease. The common causes of pathological back pain are herniated discs, spinal stenosis, arthritis, tumours, infections, inflammatory disorders, structural abnormalities and nerve compression. A herniated or ruptured disc occurs when the soft interior of a spinal disc pushes through the tough exterior. This can irritate nearby nerves, leading to intense back pain, often radiating down the legs. Spinal stenosis is the narrowing of the spinal canal, which can put pressure on the spinal cord and nerves, causing chronic back and leg pain. It's often associated with aging. Arthritis. Conditions like osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis can affect the spine's joints and can lead to chronic back pain. Tumours, benign or malignant tumours in the spine or nearby structures can cause severe back pain, especially if they press on nerves or invade bones. Infections. Infections of the spine or nearby tissues, such as vertebral osteomyelitis or epidural abscess, can lead to persistent and severe back pain. Inflammatory disorders. Conditions like ankylosing spondylitis and autoimmune diseases can cause chronic inflammation in the spine, resulting in ongoing pain and stiffness. Nerve compression. Conditions like sciatica, where the sciatic nerve is compressed, can result in chronic back and leg pain. Congenital or acquired structural abnormalities of the spine, such as scoliosis or spondylolisthesis, can cause chronic pain. Treatment for pathological back pain depends on the underlying cause. It may involve a combination of medications to manage pain and inflammation, physical therapy to improve strength and flexibility injections of medications or steroids to reduce inflammation, surgery to correct structural issues or remove tumours, lifestyle modifications such as exercise and posture improvement. Keep in mind that it's important to consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and personalised treatment plan if you're experiencing chronic and severe back pain as early intervention can often lead to better outcomes. Thanks for watching. See you again in my next video.